my lovelies welcome back to my channel today i've been to a different supermarket i've been to lidl so pretty much the same as aldi but quite a few different bits in there um so yeah i'm just gonna go through what i've got did get quite a bit um you can do the price at the end and if you um once i've gone through all the things if you want to put um, what you think um, the overall cost was or price of everything or total or whatever you call it put it in the comments below and then I'll, I'll let you know so if you want to see what I've got from Lidl this week then please continue to watch so first thing I'm going to show you is some spring water um, as soon as I walk through my front door these broke and went all over the place so they came out of the packaging the rest of them are on that little drawer set over there i'm really really thirsty so i need to have a drink <sighs> dribbling all down myself i've actually got my drum pack lovely i think my dog wants to go out as well so just give me one minute i'll be back you want to go out right he's gone out so Six bottles of water. I got. Oh no. Twelve bottles of water, not six bottles, twelve. So I do normally get them from um Aldi as well. I think they're about the same price. I'm not sure. We'll check at the end. Um then I normally go for the 24 cans of cola, but they only had the wrong way. They only had the 10 cans of Coca-Cola Zero, so got them. They have one of them price. Definitely. So let's get, I'll just get this with a little bit right on. So we've got a big bag of the Baker's adult um, dog food. Why, why does I not know what it was called? Dog food, new recipe apparently. He has had a new recipe before. He likes it, so got a huge bag of that, which he does need. Right, let's start off the first bag. We'll go for the cold oil ones because I've got something in there that I want to put straight in the freezer. So we'll quickly, quickly, quickly get that one out of the way first. We'll go quickly put the freezer. So I picked up some of this Hagen Dars. See that? Pralines and cream. Now this is for my husband, Matthew um as i am cutting back this week so yeah it wasn't actually that expensive either so i thought i'd pick him up some of that so i'm just gonna whack it in the freezer and we can get on with the haul. first bag let's do this so i've got some piccolo tomatoes i do normally pick these up from aldi and morrison's when i go so i've got some of them they're delicious you literally can just eat them out of the packet um then i picked up some bacon lard on so the the little um own brand and then i seen these these are lean bacon lardons naturally smoked and they were literally half the fat and you do get quite a bit in there because i normally put this on my pasta so i thought i'll get some of that and it wasn't even that expensive i thought for what it is i picked up some chicken thighs um this is the 600 gram pack so i normally make a, a curry out of those I've got Matthew a 10 ounce ribeye steak. That's an extra thick cut one. That was not cheap. Not cheap. More expensive than Aldi. And I've got my streaky bacon that I normally get. The smoke, 16 rashers. Got some of that. And I've got some chestnut mushrooms. These were actually on offer and we do like chestnut mushrooms. But Aldi... My Aldi hasn't done these for a couple of weeks, so nice to get them again. I've got some Italian style salad leaves. Yums. It says strong on it as well, so I think it's got some, um, what do you call it? Rocket. A lot of rocket. And then I've got some tortellini with spinach and fontina cheese. Normally it's ricotta cheese that um, you get in these, so I thought, yeah, I'd give them a try. Um, because I do, I do like tortellini. 
one of my fave pastas. I got some British garden peas. So they had the bird's eye ones next to this. The bird's eye ones were $2.99. Um, I'm just going to tell you the price is 55 p So exactly the same weight as well. What's the difference? They're both peas. Big bag of British carrots. These were 39p. Then I've got some British leeks. Look at me to make my own potato soup. I've got some of these flip popped crunch yogurt. So I normally get the Aldi's brand. Um, and these look exactly the same. A marker size too. So. Some of them from Mama. I picked some, some super sweet sweet corn. Super sweet sweet corn. I had sweet corn for ages, so I thought we need some for the freezer. I've got Marcus six pepperamis. These were one ninety nine, which I thought was a really good price. I think in Morrison's they are two pound fifty for five. So, yep, got them for Marcus. I've got Matthew some of this seriously spreadable chili flavour cheese uh, made with Scottish cheddar. I've got some purple sprouting broccoli. I do like this. I really like it. I don't know why it's any different from the other broccoli, but I, I just really, really like it. And then I picked up some of the Dane packs. This is just like Lure Pack. Lure Pack in Lidl this week was £4.19. £4.19 for exactly the same size. Actually, it looked smaller than this. It probably was the same size as this. This was £2.19. Was it £1.99? Might have been £1.99, but still, come on. £4.19. I've stopped buying the lure pack now because it went up to £4 in Morrison's. And I was annoyed at paying that. But £4.19 in Lidl was just, it's silly, isn't it? Silly money. So, yeah, I'm going to whack this over there. I've got a bit of, bit of room and then we can move on to the second bag. Hi, okie dokie, let's move on to the second bag. Oh, ooh, got the heavy bag. I've run out of toilet paper. I actually had to take up my Andrex tissues up to have a wee before I went shopping. How ridiculous is that? I literally felt like a bit of a trap. Anywho, we all run out of it, don't we? So I've got the little zone sort of branded aloe vera nine rolls yeah it's what i normally get from aldi anyway then i've got some of these raspberries they look absolutely delicious they had some like smaller packs and they were really really dark and looked like they were literally about to go off but i think they do this brand in costco i'm pretty sure it's on the back no, but I'm pretty sure I've seen these ones in Costco. They weren't cheap. They were $2.99, but that will be probably for um, lots of breakfast with my yogurt and granola. So it's not bad. Then I got some Cypriot halloumi. I got this because I seen on TikTok last night um a really nice recipe where you use honey and then you add chili flakes to it you slice the halloumi up and dip it into the um the dip the, the honey and the chili and then you fry it and it goes really nice and sticky and then you can you can work it in a salad and i just thought that sounds delicious and it doesn't sound too bad and halloumi is quite good for you i think i don't think it's that bad um and i've got some 12 free range eggs large always buy free range then i've got some of this this is a smashed avocado with chili and i also got the oh a little slip from off it the smashed avocado with lime so it says new on these. So these I'm going to have on toast with a poached egg on the top. So on one morning, on the next. 
and they've both got the 27th of April on them, so that's quite a long date. So delicious, There's one of my hairs in the back, the sister. We didn't have any um, normal halloumi, so I picked up a sweet, not halloumi, what am I about? Sweet chilli hummus, so they didn't have any normal hummus, so I've got sweet chilli. I do like sweet chilli one though, it's just a little bit higher in calories, but it's that it. I've got some mozzarella. Always got the mozzarella from my pasta dishes. We're getting a bit low on cheese, so I've got some mature cheddar. And I've got a pennant of plums. We do like to have some sort of snacky fruit in this house, so delicious. I've got some fat-free vinaigrette dressing. Now, I didn't get this because it was fat-free, but they only had fat-free. And I thought it actually looks really nice. And I had, um, when I went for that walk with my mum and stepdad, um, I had a jacket potato with a salad. And on the salad was like a really nice salad dressing. And that was like a vinaigrette. So I thought just a little drizzle on this, um, on my salad. Should be nice, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And I got some loose kiwis. So I picked up two, four, six, eight. Eight kiwis. I've got a white cabbage. I always use this for my coleslaw. So I've got that. Got some spring onions. I use these for the coleslaw as well. got a pack of Granny Smith apples, got this little snacky fruit for the lunches and things. Um, I've got some medium oranges, so I do like an orange, especially in the evening. I don't actually do like to peel it, but because I've got no nails, what I have to do is like snip the top with some scissors and then it's there's like a little bit that I can peel back. But yeah, I do like that. Lovely, lovely orange. And I've got some extra fine beans. I do like this for the roast dinner. These for roasting on this, please. Got some celery, so I do like this with salad, or I do put this in cold as well to make it extra crunchy. I've got a cucumber. I haven't bought a cucumber for so long, but I do love cucumber, especially cucumber and cheese sandwiches so basic but so delicious there we go and then i've got a little well little quite a large bag of british brown onions and these were actually quite cheap i think they were like 50 odd p um but i'm going to be back to cooking some soups this week so i thought i'd get them so let's move on to the third bag. Third and final bag. I'm just going to clear this out of the way and then we'll get on with this one. Okay, third and final bag. See, so I think this is just like cupboard things and baked goods. So I've got some rice cakes with milk chocolate. Sorry about the reflection. Um, these are really, really nice and. I mean, one rice cake, it says 81 calories, so they're not exactly a diet, but they're delicious. I've got nine Warburton's crumpets. They're a pound, as they are in most places. Oh, my fridge is going off, on not I love how it warns me. You've left me open! <laughs> then I've got the Jamie Oliver Incredible Curried chickpeas with lentils brown rice onion spices and lemon i thought that actually sounds quite nice as a lunch it doesn't look very appetizing but things like this never do do they but it sounds really nice so i thought i'll give it a whirl it just says heat up in one minute so yeah give it a whirl and i've got eight mini wheat and white tortilla wrap I've got Matthew from Walker Sensation type chili crisps. These are also for Matthew. So I've got the Blue Dragon Spicy Thai Flavour Noodle Wok Noodles. These are cute little 
tubs and we usually keep the tubs as well because they're really good for like um using the microwave so yeah keep them so i've got that one and this is one that he's tried before he hasn't tried this one but he normally goes for the oriental chicken flavor so that one there movie that rod then picked up a massive pack of tea cakes these are one of my food's favorites so they're normally about a pound 20 or something for six and this was 135 for 10. they only had the big pack so i got the big pack and i've got some multi-grain farmhouse Bread with linseed, sunflower seeds and poppy seeds. That looked really yummy. And it wasn't actually that expensive either. I think it was 89p. I've got Marcus, his hay fever tablets. He's adamant that loratadine don't work for him. And we've got loads of them. So I went for the satirazine one. So yeah, got two packs of them. I think they were 79p each. So not bad. And I've got some piri piri seasoning. I do like to have these sorts of seasoning if sometimes I can't be bothered to make my own. I just want to put it on a bit of chicken or some chips and bung it in the oven. Delicious. I need some um, some laundry liquid. And um, they only had Purcell, which um, is a branded one that I'm allergic to. So I picked up this 4 mil laundry liquid honey petals super concentrated so i've got that one i did smell it so i need to smell it again it just smell really nice and i think i did use Lidl's um laundry liquid before so yeah give that one i mean i use aldi's one it's really good and then i've got the cat treat so this is with poultry and liver and the dog likes these as well. I don't know whether he's supposed to give the dog them, but he absolutely loves them. So when the cat has one, I tell them to sit next to each other and I give them at the same time. Sometimes they're really good and just take it. And sometimes they're both fine with each other. So it depends how they are. Then I've seen the um, reduced bit, that reduced iron. And um, there's quite a few things there, but not not really things that I want to buy but then I remember that Matthew's had these before and he liked them so these are the Flips milk chocolate so they're like um pretzel salty pretzels with chocolate on the top they're meant to be 99p and they were 69p and I literally can't see anything wrong with them so I've got some of them as a little treat I was running out of mayonnaise and Aldi hasn't had squeezy lemonade lemonade mayonnaise what the hell did I say lemonade? That's weird, isn't it? Mayonnaise. They haven't had squeezy mayonnaise for weeks. And I'm running out of the jar one, so I bought one of them. And I've got my yummy Albert Bartlett red potatoes. I can't recommend these more for mash, chips, jackets, roasts. They are the best get them but unfortunately they're not cheap but they make a delicious meal when you get a big bag of them um the rest of these bits oh no one more bit so i've got the spring fresh moist toilet tissue as me and my call, mom call them these are ass wipes for your ass right so the rest of these bits from the middle aisles. I'm just gonna grab these out of the bag and chew it down because it's in my way. So first thing I picked up for the middle aisle is the underbed storage bags for space saving and just protected storage and you get two in there and they look actually quite big. Um 100 by 15 by 50. So if you have a look there they're they're not too bad. So I was thinking for um you know like sheets and um towels that i just haven't got storage for at the moment these me so i thought i'd get to see how they are if i like them i can always buy some online can't i yeah then i've seen the garnier sheet masks i've got the super hydrating and anti-fatigue 
hyaluronic acid and lavender and that says for tired skin that one and then i've got the moisture balm super hydrating replumping hyaluronic acid and pomegranate for dehydrated skin and i've used this one before and i love it i absolutely love the smell of this one they're not cheap they're 1.99 each and then i've seen this this is the l'oreal pure pure clay blemish rescue masks mask clears and let me say that again this is the l'oreal paris pure clay blemish rescue mask clears and clogs clears oh my god i go go my bloody word Clears, unclogs three pure clays and marine algae. Why the hell did they have to put all that on the bloody front book? Jesus Christ. I actually feel out of breath actually reading that then. But yeah, as soon as I seen Blemish Rescue, I thought that's for me. And it looks so good. It's like a blue glass. They are oh, love it. So yeah, I'm uh, I think I'm gonna use that tonight because I'm getting blemishes again because you know hormones and all that. So yeah, I've got them. So that is it. That is everything I've got and the sides are full. Full they are. Let me grab the receipt. Right guys, drum roll. Have you put down below how much you think it is? If you want to join in, if you don't, whatever. Um, so, oh, I've just seen actually the hay fever tablets. They were 99p, but on the actual, on the label, on the shelf, it said 79. So they've obviously put it up without changing the label. Oh, well, 99p is still cheap for um, hay fever tablets. Right, anyway, so... The total for how many items? It doesn't say how many items, but it says that the total was £99.78. There we go. So, who was the closest? We will have to see. So anyway guys, I'm going to have to go now because I've got to put stuff in the freezer and the fridge. The heating's on so I need to get it away. It's not mega warm in here but, you know, don't want it going bad. So yeah, what did you think? What did you think of the little one? I think there was some quite good bits in this one. Um, the reason why I went to Lidl is I got so stressed out last week at Aldi. Um, it's just... It's just so busy in there all the time. And at the Aldi that we go to, all the fridge um, compartments have got doors on. So you're constantly waiting for people to move out of the way before you can open the doors and get to the meat and cheese and whatever. So, um, yeah, it was literally bliss in Lidl. It was, it was dead. There was literally a handful of people in there. You could walk up an aisle and there'd be no one there. It was amazing. So I may be going back next week. It literally is up to my mum and stepdad though because they always take me shopping on a Thursday. So if you watch this channel before, you'll probably already, already know that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to go now anyway. Like I've already said, I've been chatting again. I always chat so much. But let me just say... If you liked this haul, please give this video a like. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And please share my channel if you wouldn't mind. Share the love. And also give me a comment. Comment down below. Let me know like prices you thought it was. Um, just anything. Ask me a question. Ask me anything you like. So thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you all soon.